The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey, good evening, everybody, for part two of MarketFi's Education Week. This is Kyle Bazzi, president here at MarketFi and also president over at financial media company, Benzinga.com. All right. Um, I am really glad to have everyone back tonight. Uh, yesterday, we learned um, about the psychology of being a trader and how discipline um, and when you're losing trades and how that makes you feel and what you go through is one of the most important parts of being a trader and losing is a part of trading and how to turn that around to make a win. Tonight, we are bringing you Serge Berger. Um, he is our resident swing trader here on MarketFi. He's going to be talking about candlesticks for chart breakouts and more specifically wedge and flag patterns. And this is actually part of one of his education courses he hosts on here. So we have a wealth of information on here tonight. Again, my name is Kyle. I will be helping out with the chat so Serge can stick to the content. So everybody, I want you to ask questions, be engaged. We are here to help, okay? Um, so before I introduce Serge and we get into the meat and potatoes of this uh, presentation, I'm still letting everybody file in. This has been a fantastic experience for us. MarketFi launched about a year ago. Um, we, uh, Benzinga launched about three and a half, four years ago. And it has been just amazing um, how many people we've met and how many traders we've helped and, and how many amazing experts or we call market five mavens we've been able to bring onto the platform we have about 55 products live now and this is our first education week so um today's like i said our presentation by serge Berger. and when i bring him on i never knew i've never met serge in person yet i will be in two weeks in chicago i didn't know he was such a good looking uh look good looking guy there i wish that i had half of the good looks he did and um but anyway um yesterday we had the psychology training by saying gucci Tomorrow, Wednesday, 4.30 Eastern, we'll be talking about how to pick credit spread levels with Nick Shaheen. And then Thursday, we'll be going on again at 4.30 Eastern, what you need to know to make big pips with Scott Barkley. Okay, And again, you can see MarketFi's phone numbers up in the top right. We have hundreds of people in here, thousands registered for these webinars. So if you guys have any questions, I have an entire investment specialist team standing by to help out. Even if it's not about this webinar, call in. We're here to help you guys. Okay. Um, real quick before we get started too, I want to let you know what MarketFi is because I know we have a lot of new people in these webinars with us um, this evening. We are we started MarketFi because we saw a huge issue with the way that people discovered trading products and investment products that helped them. So be that you know trade picks and news alerts, um, education courses, chat rooms, live trading rooms. Eventually, we'll be going on to research reports and much more in the platform. But the problem was it's really hard to find product that can truly help you and it's really hard to find them that um, without knowing if they're you know credible if they're, they're scams if the guy's driving a Maserati in his uh, marketing video and tells you he can turn four grand into four million overnight I promise you that is that is crummy crummy not even just marketing um, they're, they're doing something illegal okay what I want you to do, if you ever see that, you call us, you go email me, Kyle at MarketFi.com. This is what we do. I've had conversations. So we launched a year ago. I've had over 1,000 conversations with product owners um, to come onto our platform. And we have 55 that are live. Now, there's a lot of them that we still got to get on. And there's hundreds of products that we want to be able to bring on. Um, but what we do is we, we sift through the crap and we bring you great products that put out results from real professionals that can help you, okay? MarketFi is guaranteed, guarantee is, if, and it's right at the bottom, if all, all products are audited and verified, if it's on MarketFi, it's gonna make you a better trader. It's just about finding the right product for you, okay? Uh, we come with that guarantee, all right? All right, our quick disclaimer, along with anything that's trading, nothing's guaranteed, everybody. Even if you do take these education courses and you do learn from this and you do take the trade picks, losing is a part of trading, I'm not here to tell you that it's not. You will lose money, um, but if you continue to work at it, you can make money long term. You can become the trader you want to be, whether it's just on the side as supplemental supplemental income, or if it's what you want to actually do um, with your life. Okay, um, we've helped all walks of life, from value investors to you know professional day traders now. So we've been around the block uh, quite a few times. All right, I got a couple of questions, Julian. Yes, this will be recorded and sent to you. And Madi, you want to stress the fact, um, yep, tomorrow's webinar is at 4.30 Eastern, just like today's is. Um, uh, Manoj, the recording will be available um, uh, in about, uh, last night I think we sent it out three hours after the webinar. 
Okay. Here we go, folks. Buckle in. Get your notepad out. Make sure you know where the chat's at because you're going to be talking to me. We're talking to Serge Berger tonight. Um, Serge, one, uh, one of my favorite books. He was featured in Traders at Work, How the World's Most Successful Traders Make Their Living in the Markets by Tim Berkwin. And Tim Berkwin is actually the founder of one of the uh, biggest expos. He's since sold it, but the biggest expos for traders, okay? The Money Show. This was a fantastic book. He was one of 20 traders picked to get into this book and talk about his success and why he's successful. He's going to be sharing some of that insight with you tonight. He was a fixed income trader at JP Morgan. I'm not sure if you've heard of uh, their, their small firm they have. Um, he was also an analyst at Bloomberg. Um, so this guy's the real deal. He founded Blue Oak Advisors, and he's also a head trader at a large European family office. And again, we got that that uh, those pearly whites shown in the, uh, the bottom right in front of his trading screens. Um, he's also widely followed in a lot of big publications, Investor Place, um, you know, a, a nice little plug there for us. He's also contributing to our, our feed, Benzinga. He's on trading floor. He's on street authority. He's done uh, education webinars with TradeStation and, and, and their group of traders over there. So this guy is, is, is the real thing. He's legit. He's proven it. And now we've brought him on the platform to teach you guys some charting tonight. Serge, without any further ado here, um, how's it going tonight, dude? Hey, Kyle. Thanks for having me. Um, well, it's always a pleasure to have you. I'm going to be switching the screen over to you right now, okay? I'm okay. sure everybody's uh, sick of me talking here. So I'm going ahead and switching the screen right now. Um, what's going on tonight, man? You ready, uh, ready to get this going? Yeah, I'm pumped. Uh I'm pumped. It's been uh, it, it's been a pretty boring week actually so far. So um, I've been looking forward to this and doing a little preparing as well. So um, let's do this. Let me just find the right monitor. All right, get it out. So, okay. uh, Serge, tell them, tell everybody what uh, I, I had a call with Serge about an hour ago because I, I I bring a lot of energy because this I love this <laughs> stuff, man. But what did you what tell tell everybody what you told me about an hour ago when we were on the phone? I was actually I was just contemplating if uh, if I should if I should if I should, I should make this public. But but actually, I was telling Kyle that I was doing some push-ups just before the uh, webinar, and then he sent me a picture of him doing push-ups. We're getting going, man. You got your helmet on. We're ready to get everybody educated. I'm 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 wicked pumped to um, uh, after I saw your your slide deck that you sent over. Uh, the stuff you have tonight is fantastic. It's inside your course that you offer, so I love that everybody's getting it for free tonight. Um, so I, I'm I'm really really excited. And and your your slide just popped up, Serge. So. Everybody, I'm in the chat. I got a bunch of them coming through already. I'll make sure to take care of that. Um, Matt, Matt T asked, how many push-ups, Serge? <laughs> I did 60, uh, but I did it in three uh, stages. <laughs> yeah, what? Over a course of two weeks, huh? Um, okay, all right. Serge, the floor is yours, buddy. Teach us. All right. Thank you, guys, and thanks, everyone, for, for being on board today. I think this uh, education week is, is, is a great thing to do. Uh, on the part of MarketFi, I'm excited to be part of it and and and, uh, and honored to be part of it actually with uh, with another with the rest of the the uh, traders involved in it this week. What I'm going to talk about today is a little bit about how I trade flag and I guess for for the lack of a better term pennant breakouts, and I'll go through this in detail what that what those actually are and what that look like. First, I'm going to quickly go through, uh, you know, sort of make the case for swing trading and as the flags and, and pennants are mostly around the swing trading time frame, I'm going to quickly give a little bit of, of background of, 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 of what that is, at least in terms of my definition. Um, let me quickly look at what is a swing, just that's the same thing, I guess, discuss flags and pennants, and then we're going to get really get into the meat of it, discuss quickly uh, the you know, what the pennants and flags are made up of, which is really the candlesticks within, and what it's telling us from a psychological point of view. And that's really where I think I distinguish myself from from other types of traders in this. I look at candlesticks not just from the signals that they give us, but from what investor psychology is telling us. And if we look at those flags within, uh, those candlesticks within the various patterns, uh, the picture becomes a lot more clear. And I think that's the last point we can talk about whether or not to, to scale in and scale out of trades when you have these, these, these breakouts on flags and pennants. 
Oh, I guess there's one more. Waiting for the breakout time frame, right? How long do we wait for a breakout what, when you have a flag pattern developing? Do we wait for weeks or days? You know, what's the time frame there? Quick important note, definition of swing trading here. What I'm going to talk about is very much sort of what I do. It's not... Um, not sort of some universal way of looking at swing trading. It's pretty much just what I focus on. And the same thing goes for the strategy. It's, uh, you know, there are many different strategies of swing trading. This is just the one I use. So let's talk about uh, a swing quickly, just giving a little bit of backdrop. You know, what does a swing look like in case you're not familiar with the swings that, that happen from a sort of textbook point of view? And you can see here in this chart, and I'll be showing you plenty of, of live charts or at least charts on my platform. The market, of course, is closed now to show this as well. But if you see this, this is a chart of Apple uh, that I took, uh, took a picture, I guess, in, at some point in January, February. And it defined a pretty nice downtrend, right? So that's one swing in a, in a longer time frame. But then you have within that, you have little swings all within the context of a longer swing. What I usually try to capture within with my swing trading strategies are the trades that last anywhere from two days to multiple weeks. That's the typical scenario. There are certainly day trades that come up every once in a while. We just had a couple yesterday. But more or less, that's a time frame I, I focus on. And you can see these swings work very much within the confines of the longer term swing. And within these types of longer term swings, you will also see flag and pennant patterns. And as some of the most frequent patterns that actually occur, which I thought it'd be a fitting thing to talk about today on, on Market Fi's Education Week. And these are, these are patterns that I see and discuss with our, the subscribers uh, for the trade alerts and for the education product all the time. So flag patterns and flag pennants, uh, let's see here, where are we? The flags and pennants, I should say, are really what you classify as breakout patterns. In the cases I'm going to go through today, I'm going to focus on the bullish setups. Of course, you get the same way uh, on the downside. It just uh, makes it a little bit easier here for, for discussion to just focus on one-sided uh, one side of market. What the breakouts signify is a continuation of a swing. And I'll show you this in just a minute, as opposed to the beginning of a swing. When you are a swing trader, it is important to be able to distinguish between capturing the first few percent of a swing, right, which if we go back to that chart before, would be something like the bottom here, right? But there's also the continuation of a swing, which happens somewhere in the middle of a swing. And that's really what the flag and pendant patterns are, um, are signifying. Quickly, why swing trading? Uh, swing trading from a time, time frame point of view of two days to multiple weeks really doesn't involve a whole lot of stress nor boredom. So it's a business. Trading is a business, not entertainment. And I think swing trading makes it a lot easier for a lot of people to be able to treat it as such, given the fact that they don't have to sit there, watch every tick, or the opposite, where it's too boring and, and it gets to the point where they do make one trade every two weeks and it's hard to, to make that a business as well, unless, of course, you have a lot of assets in the management. It's a comfortable time frame, like I said, two days to four weeks. Um, and as such, it's pretty much a sweet spot. It's, not, it's too long for the day trader, too short for the institutional investor, and as such, gives you uncrowded trades. Plenty of setups every month, even though it's not a day trading type of environment. And probably best of all, you get very clearly defined stops and profit targets. And I will be talking about that as well today quickly when we talk about the flag and pen and patterns. And you'll see how, how clearly defined the stops really can be. So the, the risk is always uh, clearly limited right where you get into the trade. Okay, so let's define flags and patterns. They are Besides the fact that they are breakout patterns, i.e. They, they happen within the confines of a breakout, 
there are also consolidation patterns, which is to say that they lead to a breakout, right? Um, they're preceded usually by a sharp advance or decline if you look at the downside of it. And they are often marked uh, by, or they often mark a, sw a swing midpoint, right? And they occur in all time frames. Now again, I sometimes play these on the intraday time frame, but for the most part, the swing trading time frame of a couple of days to a few weeks is really the time frame that I like to focus on when it comes to trading these flag patterns and pennants. And they happen all the time. They're a high probability pattern, especially if you can understand what the psychology is within the formation of the pattern. And that's really what I want to discuss here right now. Okay? So even though we're talking about flags and pennants, really the definition that I have come to give these patterns are that they happen at some point in what at the time would look to be the midpoint of a swing. And I'll show you examples of there's different variations of these happening. Uh, more often than not, they will look like a flag as opposed to a, pe a pennant. Okay. When you look at the chart here, you can see that the, the, the flag pattern in this case looks like a flag, right, until eventually it broke higher. But important is that the, both the top and the bottom end of it really gets tested several times. And this is what I'm going to really focus on here in just a minute, because that's where we need to re really read what the candlesticks are telling us. Eventually, you'll get a breakout, and the breakout ultimate price target should be the same distance from the breakout point to the profit target as you have of the so-called flagpole. Okay? The flagpole in this case happens at the beginning of the swing to the beginning or the top of the, of the flag pattern and then the flag develops and then you get a breakout. So you automatically here have a defined profit target. At the same time you have a defined stop loss target. The stop loss target in my case more or less um, depending on how volatile a stock is, but almost all the time, it's somewhere in the top third of the flag pattern. So in case the stock breaks out and comes back more than one third into this pattern, I automatically uh, I would stop myself out. So that's the flag pattern. It's very simple to spot, and you get very clearly defined breakouts. It's, it's hard not to see one when, when it happens, and, and uh, assuming you're actually looking at the chart at the time, of course. The pennant, uh, like I said, it's very much the same pattern, except that here you have a narrowing trading range, and there are different formations of this pennant. I think the pennant, quite frankly, in reality, uh, if you were to take a, a class or read a textbook, you'll, you'll see these described as I am right now, but in reality, they don't really happen like this uh, a lot. More of, often than not, they will take the form of a pennant. I'm sorry, of a flag pattern or a variation of a pendant, which I'll show you uh, in just a minute. So let's really talk about uh, watching the candlesticks, okay? And then I'm going to show you some charts here in just a second. What's important to note when we, we have a flag pattern develop uh, is the individual candles in the pattern. And this is really what I like to always like to focus on in the course that... Um, in the swing trading course that I teach, and also in the trade alert products, when I when we do these kind of trades, I make sure to point out the the, the series of candles that are that are giving us confirmation that the flag pattern is actually working before it, before it even breaks out. So watch the individual candles in the pattern. Again, I'll show you an example in just a second. Watch for long tails. This will make more sense once once you see the chart. Rejection of the lows, so you want to see rejection of the low end of the flag pattern at several occasions, okay? And what does that mean psychologically? We'll look at that in just a second as well. The tighter the current consolidation phase, the better. So the tighter the flag pattern actually is, so the more narrow the trading range within the flag pattern, or and or the, the more forcefully that both the top and the bottom of the flag pattern gets rejected, the tighter and, and the potentially the more explosive the eventual breakout is. Stock really has to feel coiled up and that's the, really the essence of a, a successful breakout trading strategy. You need to see and feel the stock coiling up. Once you've looked at enough of these, uh, these patterns, 
you'll you'll really start to feel how the stock is coiling up. It's the it's almost a little uh, superstitious, but but if you look at various things and combine it with the fact that you see the the, the the stock in a certain pattern, you can actually feel it coiling up. Momentum oscillators. Um, I'm not too crazy about them in this type of strategy. I would I wouldn't. I wouldn't want them have to have to have some sort of big negative diversion diversions versus price. So let me show you charts. Okay, that's really what we came here for. Let me give you actual examples rather than just slides. Home Depot. Okay. If you look at the Home Depot here, it had a very nice uptrend in uh, the second half of 2012. At some point, it started failing uh, the upside trend with a big what is called a shooting star candle here on the 3rd of December and that ultimately led into a flag pattern okay the stock consolidated but it didn't fall apart it held a lot of support levels but let's look at the candles and I think that's really the key to the, to the successful breakout strategy if you look at these candles very closely you'll note that there are several of them that are that are being quite clear specifically at the at the at the towards the lower the end of the flag pattern that the lows are getting rejected for example look at this one here you see on this day this happened to be the 14th of December the stock came down to the up the lower end but the very next day the stock rallied very strongly almost right back to the upper end of the flag pattern fast forward a few days to the 21st of December Reject to the low hammer candle. Okay, what does a hammer candle tell us? The the lows are getting are getting rejected. There are buyers down there that are coming in, or the sellers psychologically just don't have enough power left to push the stock lower. And sure enough, another hammer um, a couple days later, followed by a very strong candle that brings the stock to the upper end of the range, and eventually a very clear breakout gap up uh, breakout. Hey Serge, that's yes. I got Gary W. and uh, just asked a question: Are all upside flags downsloping? I know you go over this more in your your course, but that, um, are all upside flags downsloping? Yeah, it it's a great question, Gary. They don't have to be. By definition, they're a little bit downsloping. I will tell you that, and I'll see you'll see this in the other examples. I'm going to show you in a second. This one is a little bit more downsloping than um, than some of the other ones. Now, what's important, however, is that is that the flag pattern itself doesn't break any major support levels. Okay, in this case, it doesn't do so. Okay, it holds all the major support levels if you look at this consolidation phase. So it doesn't really violate any any major trends. The flag pattern, like I said before, it's a consolidation pattern. It, what, we're tr what the flag pattern tells you, from a psychological point of view, and then the the candles within it, within the the pattern, confirm this is that the bulls are tired but the bears don't have enough uh, enough push to really break the stock lower so some some weak hands might be getting out of the stock but the core the core holdings in the uh, holders of the stock remain in there the core believers okay um, so that's Home Depot let me give you another example let's look at Goldman Sachs great uh, trading stock for these type of patterns Goldman Sachs has a, a, a history of developing a lot of tight patterns First example happened just uh, in um, in May of this year. It's a much smaller pattern, in, in, in the sense it only took uh, four days to complete. And the pattern is right here. I'm going to point this out to you here. There you go. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And again, you know, I can I could. I happen to have prepared these charts, but there's so many of these happening all the time. There's really no uh, you know, no guesswork here. You, you can just you'll find them. There's no need to, to cherry pick, if you will. So look at this. You have a you have a a uh, stock moving uh, in a nice uptrend, moving into uh, a top here, and again developing a consolidation phase. Within that consolidation phase, look at this day here. This happened to be the 10th of May. You have a long tail rejection of the low. The bears fail to, to, to make a lower low, break any sort of support levels, and the very following day, a rally to the upper end of the flag, and boom, a big breakout the, the day after that. How do you measure that? Well, we had 
we then again take uh, this arrow here, add it to the top, and you can see uh, this this was hit just a, a few days later, the price target. Okay, that's the, the example here in Goldman Sachs, and that's also how I how uh, more or less if if we do have a flag pattern to trade in the in the trade alerts this is how i try to paint it so that people understand really what we're focusing on and what the what the targets and and of course the stop out levels are in case that were to come another example would be in december 2012 so that's also not very far ago and this one's interesting because it's combining multiple uh, it's combining a lateral breakout with a flag pattern, so it's sort of doubly uh, powerful, if if uh, if that makes sense. Flag pattern is here, okay. You again have a move. I'm going to use this arrow tool again, which I like. If this arrow tool actually had real ink on it, I'd have to change it about every 10 minutes. I draw so many arrows. You see uh, a stock moving up higher, building a bull flag giving us a very strong rejection of the lows here on the 27th of December and on the 31st a rally and of course the rest is history the 2nd of, of January we all know what happened everywhere in the market in Goldman Sachs confirmed that to us and you can see that price target was hit uh, just a couple of weeks later at the same time in this case you also had a lateral break right you also had resistance here and um, this bull flag acted as confirmation of that breakout. So uh, you can use these these bull, these uh, flag patterns uh, in combination with other patterns to make it even stronger. But I really think the key is to understand what are, how are the candles within the within the, the the bull flag working and that's and that's extremely powerful and gives you an additional layer of comfort when you trade. All right, so you got a couple of questions here. John, Camarisa, Frank, Steve, Charles, Julian, uh, Gigi, I'm, I, I got a hunt, over 100 chats in right now. We're going to try to get to everything. ton of people in here tonight. But, Serge, before you move on, uh, I'm going to take – let's see which one I want to take here. I believe it is um, – there we go. Uh, Steve M. asks, is there a minimum number of candles for a valid pattern? Uh, yeah, also a very good question, uh, Steve. At, at the end of the day, it really depends on your time frame, right? In this case, we're talking about daily time frames, so you have a number of candles. Personally, I don't like to see a flag pattern having less than three or four candles, okay? Um, and this is actually something we're going to talk about at the last slide. Of, I know how much is, how long is too long. I think at least four, probably not much more than maybe 20. Okay, understanding, however, that if you do have a breakout on a 20 candle uh, flag pattern, it could be very, very powerful, right? So it's almost the longer you wait, the more powerful it is. Yet, to some extent, it becomes a bit of a waste of time if you have to watch your flag pattern develop over 20 days or 20 weeks, whatever your time frame is. Great, thanks, Serge. Did you want, have another question, Kyle, or do you no, want to continue? No, we're good. I'm gonna. Everybody, keep them coming. We'll uh, we'll get to them throughout the the presentation. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, so, so let's get back to the PowerPoint for a minute, and we talked about this now. So this should make a little more sense. Watch for long tails. We talk about that. The rejection of the bottom of the flag pattern is very powerful, especially if and when it continues and is confirmed by a breakout candle to the long side. Rejection of the lows, uh, that's the same thing. And you can see some of the patterns I showed you have very, very tight patterns. Look at this one. Um, the trading range, it got very tight for a few days until the stock eventually broke out. That's exactly what you want to see in a, in a successful uh, flag pattern. And again, the candles are really what matter here. Um, pennants and flags, what did I tell us about investor reactions? I just talked about this. I kind of jumped over this. 
Um, I think what's important is that the breakouts must be strong, okay? Um, if you look at the example in Goldman Sachs, I just show you, this breakout was very strong, just like the examples I showed you uh, on Home Depot as well. The breakout here, I don't think there's a certain percentage uh, run that it has to have, but it's nice and even nicer if there's a, a, a breakout gap up to the upside that goes beyond the can the flag patterns top okay so this is a great example Goldman Sachs it just it just tells you that the the bulls really mean it right and, and do you need a confirmation day after the breakout no you don't especially not if you've had confirmation within here that the lows are getting rejected so quickly okay Um, to scale or not to scale, you know what? Um, personally, I don't really like to scale in and, and scale out of these trades because they can be so quick. In other words, if I were to scale into trade and say buy a third of a full position uh, at the end of the breakout day in this case and then wait another two days and buy more, these trades can be so fast that by the time I get into a full position, the stock has either stopped me out or reached its profit target, and by that time, I've only then had a third of the, of the uh, position on. So that's, to me, a little bit uh, counterproductive, if that makes sense. Uh, but you can do so. I think, you know, at the end of the day, you really, it really is up to everyone's style, but I think flag patterns, if, if you understand and if you, if you really look for these candles within a flag pattern, then it shouldn't be something that um, that requires a lot of scaling in and out. Let me though quickly show you a couple of uh, pennants or one pennant specifically formation, just because you know they are part of of reality, just not as much as the flag patterns. I also uh, this is in Target TGT is the ticker symbol. We're going to go back to just uh, March of this year, which would have been right here. And yeah, here we are. And you'll see exactly why before I said that the pennant doesn't really happen that much or it can be looked at in a different way. At the end of the day, these types of patterns, whether it's a pennant or uh, or it's a flag pattern or a variation thereof, and I will show you one in just a second. What's important to understand, uh, to look for, is that they're consolidation phases, okay? And if you have a consolidation phase that in this case as well is rejecting the lows of the pattern very, very forcefully, see that? Uh, rejection number one down here, rejection number two down here, and an eventual uh, breakout. It doesn't matter whether this pattern has more of a rectangular shape or a triangular shape. You can see exactly what's happening here. You have a run higher into this consolidation phase, consolidation phase, and a run higher. And the last chart I have prepared here is a variation of these two types of patterns and this is also the type of variation also a type of vari uh, of pattern that I really find a lot of uh, and always point out in the trade alerts and always uh, and also try to teach in in the education course and it's I don't actually have a name for it but you'll see it in just a second uh, what I mean August 2012 which gets us uh, back to this time frame here. And it's a very tight pattern and it happens quite a bit. Now again you'll see I can I can almost draw this as a as a flag if I want to, but there is lateral support. Okay. So it just takes a little bit of creativity to notice these variations. Okay. But you see the same exact type of thing happening here. You have a run higher, a stock consolidating in a tight formation, failing to break higher at, the, at this time, but also 
definitely getting forcefully, uh, re forcefully rejecting the lows. All of this is being followed by a very powerful one-day breakout, and a few days later, uh, you had a nice run higher. Okay, that's a very powerful formation, and it's, and it's almost exactly the same thing as a flag and a pennant. Sometimes the flags work, the flag pattern, the more rectangular shape one works better than the others. Why? Maybe because more people realize it, more more software packages automatically find it. Uh, more you know technical research guys find it I don't know I don't really care what it is I know they work especially if I understand that the lows of the flag pattern are getting rejected because buyers are higher and and, uh, and sellers are lower or in this case simply non-existent anywhere below the lows of the flag pattern and that gets me back to the PowerPoint presentation which is an important point here in terms of patience. Patience is a virtue and patience in trading is probably one of the more important things. If you have a system uh, such as what I've developed with candlesticks and, and various other things that go into my formula, it's just a matter of being patient for, for, for the market to actually do its thing. The market, uh, you know, they say history it doesn't always uh, uh, doesn't repeat but it often rhymes and that's the same exact thing for the market you see these type of patterns that I discussed happening all the time I see them happening on a daily basis whether I manage to trade them on a daily basis a different story because you can't trade everything but I do see them on a daily basis so it's okay to try some of these breakouts multiple times sometimes you do get fake out breakouts right um, but usually those are the ones that haven't, that didn't really have a very forceful breakout. So in that case, it's important to keep your stops tight, which as I discussed, I put my stops somewhere within the top third of the bear flag pattern. And that's all I have. I know Kyle wanted to talk a little bit about the course. So I am going to pass it over to him. Cool. I mean, Serge, fantastic. Everybody, um, we are going to get to your questions. We have a ton of them in. John, uh, Carissa, Frank, Charles, Julian, Martin, Roger, Tim, Madi, the optimists at Gmail, Alan D, Daj, uh, Tom C, Anna. There's a ton more. We're going to get to your questions. Uh, keep them coming. You guys have some fantastic stuff. Um, Serge, how about you pop over that screen to me real quick? And um, I'm going to answer some of these questions. Before I do that, we're going to be sending out the recording tonight, everyone. And we're still, we still got a lot to learn uh, tonight. Um, I'm going to go over Serge's course as well. Do you uh, type into the chat, does everybody want us to send the PowerPoint along with the, um, along with the recording tonight? Uh, let me know if you do. And I can see what my marketing team, just put yes um, on there and that, that'll be helpful for me. Okay. Um, all right. Thanks, Serge. Appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and pop onto my screen right now. Um, all right. Cool. Um, and, and Serge, will you quickly go over? So a few people asked, what's your take on the market right now? Um, you know, it's, at, the end, at the end of the day, we, we've had a big run this year and um, it's the, the market most likely is due for, for more of a breather than people think. I did my my check with the smart money guys that I work with on a daily basis, and some of you know most of those guys have well above average track records, and most of those guys started dipping in the market again last Thursday and Friday. Clearly early, I don't know what the time frames were on every single trade, but it just goes to show that the the bulls have been conditioned to buy every single dip, and at some point that will stop working. Um, I think there's a good chance it's going to stop working here for some time. I don't think we're going to have fall into the abyss, but I do think a correction of you know anywhere between five and ten percent, uh, say on the S and P 500, is certainly possible. Cool, great stuff, Serge. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into that. Um, everybody, it's five ten. We, we're, we're probably going to go over because we're we're going to get through this stuff tonight. We want to help. Um, we had over 175 people ask for the PowerPoint surge, so we will send out the PowerPoint along with. The, the webinar. Um, real quick, uh, I want to show you guys Serge's course uh, as well. We have a lot of people coming in right now. Um, 
I, I can't pronounce uh, the name, but it starts with an X. Uh, ask him about the course. Uh, Jacob asked about the course. Uh, C. Batten asked about the course. So I'm going to go over the course real quick. Let me know if you have any questions before we get back to the charts. The essence of swing trading courses on MarketFi, and what's really cool tonight is we already went over why swing trading and what swing trade what is swing trading. Obviously, that's more of an introductory thing, but what's really cool is really all we covered is the wedge and flag patterns from the course. And there's a ton of other uh, candlestick variation formations uh, that he also covers, talks about hammer candles and, and uh, shooting star patterns. We go over a lot, and if you can see, look how much other material is actually in his course as well. Uh, there is a, a ton of great stuff, including major setups, secondary setups, timing the market. Uh, one of what I think is one of the most important lessons, the mental approach to swing trading uh, from Surge, which, I mean, this guy's been doing it for a long time. He does it, you know, with managed funds. Um, it, it's, it's fantastic stuff. I got a lot of people asking for tools in here. Um, I think it was Julian. Julian, was that you that asked about, you know, what are some of the tools? He, he talks about momentum oscillators, the moving averages, the trend lines, the Fibonacci retracement and extensions. So he goes over a lot of the technical analysis tools for swing trading as well, and then dives into timing the market um, and also obviously the candlestick formations before getting into setups. And I have a ton of people asking, you know, when are you looking to get in? Um, you know, when do you, Martin K asked, when do you enter a trade? That's what we go over in the course. And obviously we can't teach all of this in one hour, right? Um, the swing trading setups, the entries, the price targets, the stops, we go over all of that in the course. And it, um, going to the next slide here, you know, here's a lot of the course material right here. You can see the videos that are on MarketFi. It also comes with, if you look below, a 30 page ebook course guide, a series of 15 minute instructional videos. And what's really cool is you get live subscriber only webinars with Surge, so a lot of Q&A a lot of back and forth. What I do here at MarketFi is make sure we find educators that go above and beyond for their subscribers and their members. Uh, Serge, how many how many private chats do you think you get a day? 30 to 40? Uh, a lot more. It's it's a ton, you know. It, it's uh, given the fact that subscribers are around the world, you know, you get questions really happening as early as four in the morning. My iPhone, uh, you know, lights up and, uh, you know, way late into the night. So <laughs> I know it, man. I know it. And the funny thing is I got my customer care team that actually monitors all that to make sure that, uh, um, you know, everything's getting answered too. Um, and, and what's really cool, everybody, on MarketFi, uh, before we get back to the charts, on MarketFi, you get real customer testimonials. So, again, that's what we do is make sure – this is like Amazon where you can come in and review people's products. You can see people – here's a couple of Surge's students that came, you know, talking about you know, how accessible he is, how easy it is to learn from him. I've, I've taken a lot of technical analysis classes, and I've watched a lot of webinars. The application of it is what's important, folks. It's not just learning what a flag pattern is. It's about daily being, at, being able to ask an expert – Okay, I'm, I think this is the flag pattern. Am I right? And sending them a chart, or hey, can you look at the, this this chart with me? Can we can we do a screen share real quick? That is huge, right? That is absolutely huge in terms of application to become profitable with this stuff. Because at the end of the day, you're not here to learn about flag patterns. You're sitting there trying to put more tools in your belt to make uh, consistent profits. That's what everyone's trying to do, and that's what technical analysis is. It's another tool to put in your belt to make more money. Um, so you're sitting there right now and like this, can you, can this actually, uh, help you? You know what I mean? Um, I got Shan coming in. Can you show an example of your swing trade option? Yeah, we will. Uh, Serge, correct me if I'm wrong. I've seen a couple options in your steady trader newsletter. You do stocks and options, correct? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, you know, a lot of people will, will come in and do the swing trade via options because they should, they work perfectly fine with trading options. I certainly trade for options from time to time. Um, it really depends on the market. You know, that's really all I can say. Cool. Um, so far in the past few months, it's been a lot of equities and ETFs. Uh, but options make, to me, a lot more sense at, at some at sometimes uh, more sense at, at certain points than at other points. So, yeah, and and also kind of piggyback on that. A lot of, I mean, you know, surge is a lot more equities, but I know a lot of your students do options too. So, um, and I got people asking about pricing. I'll uh, I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, before we get back to some more of the, the charts education, uh, the Steady Trader alerts and chat rooms. So Surge also has a trade alert newsletter on, on the with trade signals on MarketFi as well as his chat room. 
you usually get between two and four high probability trade signals, entries and exits and price targets and stop losses. One of my favorite things, Serge, you know this is my favorite thing about you, is the morning's thoughts video. So a five minute video, Monday through Friday, talking about what the heck's going on in the market, what to be looking at, what to concentrate on. It's really a community of swing traders that are learning. And you have Serge at the helm of that, that um, is not only been profitable for a long time in, in running money, uh, managed funds, you are able to access someone that can answer the questions. And if he can't, if he doesn't know it, he'll get it for you. And I think that's so important. Like I said, the application, I've seen so many traders learn something, go do it on their own, lose money and think it doesn't work. That's not, that's not the truth. If you read the book that Serge is in, it talks about discipline and it talks about continual education and trading with people that are, that have done it, that you can learn from, you know, and um, a couple of more members that Serge has come through, you know, just talking about, um, you know, his product. I've seen so many people that have come through and on my customer care team, I record all of our conversations. We talk with customers um, so I can go through them on the weekends to make sure that our customers are being taken care of. And when I see reviews like this, it reminds me of a year ago when we started Marketify and I, I just, I'm, I'm blown away by, um, you know, the amount of people that have come through and just expressed how much, you know, how long they've been looking for stuff like this. So absolutely love that. Um, okay. Let's get to um, some pricing. This is Marketify's Education Week, and as promised, we are taking what Surge offers and going to give you um, a, a huge discount today um, to make the money that his students and that he's making. If you're interested in learning um, and applying technical analysis and the charting patterns that he has, so on the left you can see we have the course that we talked about that we referenced. He went over a section of his course today with the flag patterns and wedges, the essence of swing trading, which is normally 99 bucks. You get the 30 page ebook uh, course guide with that. You get access to the chat room, which is growing. It's got over 200 members in the chat room already. That is 99 bucks today only. Um, I'm sorry, next 24 hours because of this educational week, it's 49 bucks for all of that. And the code is silver one. I have Nathan sitting next to me and he's going to go throw in that chat. If you search for the chat, he's going to throw the, the link to go directly to that page that will automatically apply to it. Um, so go ahead and check that out. The gold package, which you get everything that silver has, but you also get six months of the swing trade alerts, which is 60 bucks, 59 bucks a month. You get six months of that. You get the daily video with morning insights. The, what I was telling you, my favorite part of Serge's product, plus two hours of personal coaching at 500 bucks an hour. And Serge has a lot of people that he does one-on-one -on -one coaching with. Like I said, that application of helping people make money is what Serge is good at. But beyond that, six months of the trade signal. So now you're taking what you've learned and you're applying it. That's so big, guys. That is so important. Um, that's usually $1,454. Next 24 hours, we're going to do $299. <laughs> and I had to beg Surge to get this, this deal because this is obviously a business forum. But we're going to do $299 for you for the next 24 hours because it's education week, um, because I've seen Surge help so many traders turn around unprofitable years into going forward and getting better. You know, it doesn't happen overnight, folks, but when you make the choice to, to dive in, right, when you make the choice to truly learn, you can create consistent income. The difference between someone that does and doesn't is just the effort and also connecting with people that can help them, okay? Think about it this way. Michael Jordan didn't win two NBA championships. I said this last night, too. But I believe it. And Michael Jordan didn't win two NBA championships and say, hey, coach, I don't need you anymore. I got this. <laughs> you know, I got this. Don't worry. You want to continually learn. If you read that book, you'll see 20 traders that talk about they're still learning and they're 15 years into it. Okay. Kyle? Then, yeah. Let me quickly jump in just for one second. I know you want to go through the rest of this. I, you know, I think that's really. I mean, I know you just said it like three times, but I have to emphasize that. A lot, I see a lot of people come in. And into the and they, they sign up for either the course or for the trade alerts. And based on their first ten questions that they send me over the course of a week, I can tell whether they're gonna stick around for a month, uh, three months, or two weeks. And a lot of people come into this business with what I believe is a faulty attitude, and it's not their fault. It's just what's been sold to them in the past, and it goes back to your original point. Okay, this business is about education, but continually understanding um, that you have to 
you have to keep on top of the game. You can't just expect to, to learn one technical uh, charting tool, or whatever, um, and all of a sudden, you know, make uh, make ten grand a month a month steadily. That that's not how this works. It's by giving it time, and it really does take time. But you know, that's why I offer the swing trading courses. Courses is a lifetime membership. Uh, and with that, you continually get the get the education that you need. Yeah, I couldn't agree with that more, Serge. And uh, I got a couple of questions coming in about the trade alerts. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, and then the platinum package. So the gold package, you get the course. The course is on demand. So there's several, several videos. And I'll go over the, if you guys want me to go in more in depth into the, the videos, I'll show that. But the platinum package offers you, so you, you're going to pay this one time and you're going to get 12 months of the uh, his swing trade alerts, the steady trader, and be part of that community. You still get the chat room. You still get the video insights. You still get the 30-page ebook, um, and then you also get 10 hours of personal coaching, which typically costs five grand alone for the personal coaching. Usually, maybe we'll you know we'll give a price break to four grand or something because it's a lot of Serge's time. But this is for people that need more one-on-one -on -one work. Okay, so the gold package gives you the course and the trade signals. So you know you, you get to learn and then you're gonna to apply to make money with them. But if you need more very intensive one-on-one -on -one work, we're gonna discount the platinum package from $5,808 to 1,999 with the code platinum one. So again, Nathan is help handing the chat for me right now. He's putting those links into the chat box. So if you don't see those, let me know, okay? Um, but again, folks, learning is everything, okay? And then being able to apply it is is kind of like that second piece so you you get those tools and then you know it's great learning them right now when the market's closed but how about tomorrow when we're in action right that's what the chat room and the the swing trade alerts are for you learn the essence of swing trading you, you get those tools then you apply it okay you can watch a a video on how to shoot a basketball but you need to be able to get on the court and actually do it and those are two separate things both very important though okay and then real quick before we get back, Serge, to a lot of the questions we have about, um, you know, you know your, your, the flag patterns that we talked about and your swing trade alerts, the Markify guarantee. Again, I want to reiterate this because we're doing something that no one else is doing. We, we're the ones that are sitting in the middle between you and Serge. And in, in, I know Serge is a great guy. He's a good friend of mine now. Um, over the past year, we've been working together. But we're, we verify these people, okay? We go through background checks. I go through reference checks. I call his previous employers. I make sure Surge is legit. Then I track his performance on MarketFi, okay? When Surge makes trades, they're on MarketFi, and I built a platform. My, develop, my, my software developers built a platform, I should say. I don't want my, uh, my, you know, the smart guys in my company getting mad at me. That, that actually pulls down the data from the exchanges, and we price check these trades before they go out to you in real time, though. So you get an email signal saying, you know, whatever Surge is doing, buying or selling, on these trades and then he'll send a blog post with a chart showing why he did it but we verify this stuff for you okay folks and you can always reach us that is one of my sticking points there's the phone numbers up there in the top right the phone numbers in the middle 877-440-9464 email us at support at marketby.com there's a live chat on the site that's open most of the day we're in we're based in detroit here in eastern time so um you know between midnight and 6 a.m eastern time we're not we don't have the chat but we will get to you, okay? We have traders around the world, Australia, China, Singapore, UK, every time zone. So if, if something it needs to get done, we will get it done for you, okay? And that's that 24 seven trader care support. Like I said, you can call us and we'll get to you. Fully certified, verified products, real results when you see his, his stuff. And for anybody that buys today, and we had a bunch of people that came in buying the trader psychology yesterday, we're going to send you, and this is just a little fun that we've had, we're having. I love it. We're sending you a $50 gift card to this site that um, we, we partnered up with that to send you some free wine. And I'm not sure if we got, you know, I'm not sure if you guys are like me. When I'm done trading, I like to have a, you know, a glass of vino or maybe some, uh, um, you know, a glass of whiskey, depending on how the day went. But, um, and then also anything trade alerts, any of his trade alert products you subscribe to or any subscriptions on the site. Those all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, any subscription products, okay? So, again, we take care of you. You don't got to worry about that. Um, Serge, you, got, you ready to get to a, a few of these questions? Yeah, please. Okay. I had somebody ask me to pull up the course guide again. Uh, again, it's the essence of swing trading. We went over why swing trading, what is a swing, and we went over 
just one of the, the various formations for the candlesticks that he went over, okay? So um, you get the rest of this inside the course, and then you apply it with him and the rest of the community, the rest of the traders trading with him inside his subscription product, which is the Steady Trader, as well as the chat room, which is on the site, okay? All right, so uh, Mark, are, are the swing trade alerts daily or how many alerts in six months? And Mark, they typically, like I said, two to four a week. You get two to four setups a week, and then Surge will also show other... Um, other positions he might not be taking, but other different ideas in there as well. And then are the setups showing entry and targets? Yes, you will get the entry points, you get the exit points, you get the target points. He'll talk about stop losses. You have you have one on one access, Mark. Mark, you have one on one access with Surge, where you can actually ask him other questions too about you know maybe the the theory or the the, the reason he took it. You can ask him about the specific candle uh, pattern that he, formation he was looking at when he took the trade, so you can learn. Okay. Um, I have somebody coming in RT group at MSN. Does the silver level include one month of alerts? Um, you know what? I will have to find out for you. I Serge, did we offer you can, can we offer one month of alerts for this? I don't think so. Actually, RT, you don't the only, you only get the alerts if you sign up for the, the gold package today. Um, and then RJD, will you teach me to become an independent trader? That's what we do, RJ. That is what we are doing here with you today. Um, if, if swing trading makes sense for you, if charting analysis makes sense for you, Surge is your man, and um, you should definitely get signed up today to uh, so he can start helping you. All right. T, um, I don't know this guy's name. It's T-G-E-L-D-A-R-T. -E um, if the volume is, uh, Surge, this is for you. If the volume is 500,000, should the average three-month volume be three times higher and I'm going to guess he's talking about when you, you want to enter into a trade. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I like to see, I like to trade stocks that have about 500,000 uh, shares uh, traded on a daily basis. You know, does 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 that, how does that calculate over a week or, or over a month? Uh, you know, you can just extrapolate that. That's a... Uh, that's a very simple math. If you have a stock that trades 500,000 shares on Monday, but trades, uh, you know, 100,000 uh, shares on or 50,000 on Thursday, that's an issue. You want to trade stocks, especially for these patterns, to work consistently, um, to to also uh, have a fairly consistent volume uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. Cool. Um, again, I got, people are coming in asking about the alerts. We can talk about more of that uh, in just a little bit. Um, all right. So your stops, all the stops, price target questions, we have a bunch of them. That's all covered right here in the course, folks, um, the swing trading setups. He goes real in-depth on entry, price targets, and stops, talks about the major setups and the secondary setups. And then anybody that signs up today, you'll also be included in his private member uh, webinars where – we actually pull the uh, the members um, and we ask them what they we want um what they want us to go over more in depth. So if everybody's kind of like, hey, you know, we really want to talk about this specific trade we went over, or we really want to go more in depth on how you're setting price targets, we'll actually do a webinar just for members, and it'll be you know purely educational everything, and you guys can go over all that in there. Okay, um, I have Anna K. Uh, asking, does the gap usually follow? So when you're when you're talking about the the flag pattern surge, the gap. You know how are you? How are you? And if you want me to throw you back the, the uh, screen, let me know. How do you get that confluence when you're looking at? It? I know we talked between four and twenty candles is that sweet spot, but how are you looking for that confluence when you're looking to make that trade? Um. The confluence of I was I'm not quite getting the question. Confluence of like other indicators coming together, or yeah. So you're talking about or, that, like um, the 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 tool, or the the indicators you're looking at, but also um, you talk about that coil. You know what I mean? And yeah, sure. I coil. think I think what she's asking is about the gap, and that's you know at the end of the day, like I said, if you have a gap higher, if you have a a consolidation pattern, whether it's a flag or you know uh, <laughs> a circle for all I care. Whatever it is, if you have a stock breaking out in the, in the direction uh, in which it came from, which in this in the cases we discussed today is to the upside, that gap that it leaves is is powerful. Okay, it tells you that buyers didn't just show up, uh, you know, you know, in sort of a semi semi lazy way. They really came in. Okay, and that just gives you ultimate confirmation of the candles that happened within the pattern. 
I think that's really how I distinguish myself from looking at this um, because it tells me what investor psychology is, is all about there. All right, Serge, I know you can't go into in depth in this because, you know, I, I always tell you this is for your members only. But, you know, how are – can you just touch on how you're identifying, um, you know, trade opportunities, you know, and, and what you're looking for out there? Yeah, well, you know, keep what I what I do is 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 of course I have the the, the trade alerts and the the course that I teach, uh, but I also manage a lot of money for for various different uh, uh, individuals and institutions. So, uh, what that gives me is a lot of access to to uh, you know, of course, all the banks and all the every just about every research department I want to get to. So I have a lot of information. I talk to you know all my friends with 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 hedge funds and everything around the world on a daily basis. So there's a lot of things that I sift through every single day to get to these trades. Uh, I don't just run one scan and tell you here's two flag patterns. Let's look at that. Let's trade this. Uh, there's a lot more to that, and I think my personal opinion, an individual trader at home cannot do get to that wealth of information without having access to all the stuff I have. And it took me uh, 14 years of a profession of doing this, in the, uh, both on the sell side and the buy side, and then now uh, on, with my own company, to get to all these connections. I don't think an individual person can do that with the, the trade alert course and, the swing, and, and the, the, the swing trading course and the trade alerts allow you to basically get to all of my research indirectly as well. Now, Serge, I'm going to go back to one of the charts real quick, and, and maybe that'll help. How do you know, you know, we're looking at a flag pattern or something, you know, and maybe if I can pull up a chart. Maybe you want to pull up a chart, too. This is from, um, I think this is from, uh, by the way, Tim P., we didn't show any bear flags today. These were all just bull flags. Uh, but in the course, in his trade alerts, you, you do get more of that. But how do you know that a flag pattern is not just a phase reversal, Serge? Um, well, if it doesn't break out, <laughs> but you know, look at the end of the day, a flag pattern, just like a uh, any consolidation phase, or just like any setup, there is a chance it doesn't work. In other words, you can get a perfectly uh, a perfect setup with all the right things happening, all the candles are rejecting the lows, and you get a nice gap up to the upside, and the day after the get the gap up, the stock falls apart. Is it possible? Yes, of course, but that's trading, guys. You cannot, if you want to come to this business, and I, and this happens to me all, you get new, I get new subscribers and people come in and they see two trades in a row failing and they give up. That's not how it works. <laughs> trading is all about understanding that it's a game of probabilities. If you can win on average anywhere between six and eight out of 10 trades, then you're good. But those trades are completely randomly distributed. So you're not going to get six winners in a row necessarily and then four losers. There's no absolutely zero correlation from data, from trade to trade, right? So a flag pattern can definitely fail, which is why I have a stop in place. Cool. That's great. And then I got uh, um, Hilla T. Do you use just the, the body of the candle when, uh, when drawing your patterns? Or the wick and the body. Uh, both, both, both is very important. What's important within the flag is is the wick or the tail, right? It's the same thing. It's important to understand that that wick, and you can look at it on that chart right there, um, Kyle. Look at the candle at the bottom, right there. Yep. Uh, the yeah, that one. That's a hammer candle. Look at that long wick. Very important. But that long wick with a very long bo um, body or, or at the top has a much different saying than if it had a small head on top. Okay, so and we don't have we can't get into technicalities right now because it takes too long. But there's a different there's a difference there, so it's important to look at both the tail and the body. And then I know we kind of talked about this with the uh, the shares, but John R. I just want to reiterate: to search, should breakout be on higher volume? Yes, it, I tell you. Over the years of doing this, you know, I have to. I have come to rely less and less on volume. Volume can be distorted. You have, you know, dark pools out there. All the algorithms. There's a lot of smart stuff happening. I think a breakout on higher volume is great, and I would say it's almost a must. 
but it's not an absolute must. Um, I would be much more comfortable taking a breakout on higher volume than, than one on, on, on not massive volume, uh, but that's not to say that can't happen. And this is obviously all covered in the, the course, and, and Serge goes a lot more in depth uh, with his um, with the trade alert service that you get alongside. Hey, real quick, we got we got a bunch more questions we're going to keep going over so you guys can learn. But just uh, um, by go ahead and type in why or type in yes or no or n. Uh, did everybody find this um, this presentation helpful today? I know I got a lot of people coming in. We're getting a ton of purchases right now, which means that we're helping you guys, which makes me absolutely ecstatic. Hilla, T, Mike G, everyone's saying yes. Bangladesh, Mark R, Greg W, Madi, Kimmy, Rupert, Thomas, Helen, Abraham. Thank you, guys. Anna said, yes, very helpful. Uh, George just said, Serge is the man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, cool, guys. Keep keep the, uh, keep the stuff coming. Um, so, Serge, I know we got a bunch of good trades coming up next week for all the subscribers. You know, how do you feel about, you know, September with tapering right now? And, you know, we're about to see a bunch of opportunities for swing traders right now because you're short and long. Yeah, I, look, I, at the end of the day, I think we're in a very – a lot of people dismiss August to be a, a, a crappy month for – you know, and that, to use a technical term, um, and it's not. August is a great month to, to get ready for September um, and to get to uh, – I think to understand the tape in September, you have to trade at least the second half of August, and that's where, that's where we are, we're at right now. We're doing a lot of very – important trades that's going to give us context for what September will bring. We're already seeing, of course, a pullback in the market now. We're going to get that news, um, that tapering news that everyone's waiting for. In my opinion, it's going to be a non-event, but you know, my opinion doesn't matter here. What's important is the market reaction. So um, that's that's what we're looking what we're looking forward to and really preparing right now uh, with all the subscribers and the portfolio for that matter as well. RJ just came through. Hey, buddy, uh, the, the course doesn't teach you necessarily how to build a watch list, but the swing trade product, uh, the Steady Trader, which you get with the gold package, you get six months of it, um, which alone would be $360 uh, with the course and the one on one coaching and everything else. That'll show you how Serge built his watch list, and you can work with him. Um, he'll teach you how to do the same when you guys are identifying which stocks to take, you know, and how to make money on it. And um, Sean just came through, and you can, Sean, you can trade options. And equities off this, okay? You can trade both. Um, it depends on what you want to do and how much risk you feel comfortable with. And you can talk to Serge about that both in the chat room as well as one-on-one uh, -on -one through his uh, his uh, messaging system on the on the site. So, um, you know, if you want to talk about an option that you're trading, something like that, he's he's there for you to help too. Um, <laughs> we got a ton of people still coming in talking about the course tonight. I really appreciate it, guys. You have no idea. This was a dream of mine a year ago when we launched MarketFi, and and to see so many people that we're helping. It's just fantastic. So Jeffrey Shea, I appreciate it. Alan D, uh, Dave R, everybody. Uh, Steve M, f fantastic guys. I really appreciate it. Um, is this the same chat offered as yesterday? G13, man. No, it's not. The chat yesterday was for um, uh, day trading weekly options with Sanglucci. This chat room is more swing trading um, with Serge and his, his community. You guys will be talking about you know, applying everything that you um, you learned tonight and applying everything you learned from his course. Okay, so you, you'll be able to sit in there with him um, and ask him questions and go through you know specific trades or talk about ideas and shoot around you know what you're trading and what other people are trading that he's taught. Um, and you can see the guys and, and gals making money that have taken his course. Right? You know, you look at two hundred ninety nine dollars or forty nine bucks or nineteen ninety nine. Depending on where you're at and what you need, that's an investment, folks, in, into, into getting a new community, into getting in the mind of a guy that has done this consistently. And you know this because we verified it for you, okay? Um, you know, I, I gave out my cell phone number last night in the, in the course because I believe in these guys. And I said, if you buy and you don't get what you thought you were going to get on this, you can contact me personally, Okay. Um, if you want my cell phone number, let me know. I'll give it to you as well because that's what we're here to do, okay? I have millions of readers over at Benzinga.com. We have thousands of uh, traders on MarketFi now. Um, we're, we're here to help, and, and, and we actually care about, you know, I don't, I don't care if you just buy our course tonight. What I care about is you get something from that course, and you take that on, and you put a tool in your belt to make yourself a better trader. You're sitting there right now. You're here because you want something, right? You're here because you want to trade 
better? Or ask yourself this question, you know, could I, could I improve on my consistency with my trades, right? That's learning something. Am I right? That's learning something new. And if this can teach you better technical analysis, and this can teach you, you know, more um, uh, candlestick patterns that can present more opportunities with someone that's been proven, that could help you trade better, right? That could make you more money, correct? So this is an investment, all right? Think of it as an investment because that's what we're here to do for you guys, okay? All right, Serge, a couple more questions. We're already 11 minutes over, which I told you, Serge, don't go over tonight. But um, of course, it's me because I, I, I can't stop, man. I love this stuff and I want to get to all this stuff. All right, um, so that was the watch list, court, or the watch list question I just got to. Um, the optimist, swing trading, swing trades are more like day trading. Not really. The way, Serge, you put it like this, it's too long for day traders and too short for inv value investors. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you have, you have, it, it depends on your, on how you define it. My definition of swing trading is two days to four to, to three to four weeks of time frame a holding period, right? You could swing trade technically within the, within the day, intraday trading. I think there's less crowded trades to do in the time frame that I operate in within two days and multiple weeks. Cool. RJ, uh, what is the account size range to start? That really is what makes sense to you. We have people that are swing trading with five grand or 10 grand in their account um, because you don't have the day trading rule. The day trading rule means you have to have $25,000 in your account. And Serge, if I'm correct, you only can make three interday trades in like a, a three or five day rolling period. Yeah, that, that's about right. Yeah. right. Yeah. So RJ, you can trade with lower than 25. And we got guys that are trading all the way up into the hundreds of thousands of dollars in their account um, on each trade. So again, that's what makes sense for you. I, um, in, in Serge's course, he touches on it and, and goes into it, but you'll learn from him in his chat room. It's really about the risk and, and applying the right risk. And when you read that book, uh, Traders at Work, that's one of the, the really key points. It talks a lot about discipline and it talks a lot about your risk, okay? Um, so it's really what makes sense for you, what your goals are. Um, what was the next? Um, if we start with the silver package, can we upgrade to the gold and the difference in price? You can't just because um, I have to end this in 24 hours and my system ends it in 24 hours. That came from Robert. Um, so I'm sorry, I can't do that for you, but I would, I'd suggest that you just get the gold package for $299. Um, I mean, I, I, you're not going to be disappointed. I promise you that. And that gets you six months of the trade signals with Surge, okay? And it gets you the two hours of personal coaching. So, I mean, you get a $50 discount with the first one. I mean, look at the discount on the second one. It's like $1,100. you are saving $1,100 and you're only investing $300 to make you, you know, make yourself a better trader. All right, folks, just a couple more. Um, we have HICX2. Um, that came in saying, thank you. I have to go back to work. I haven't hit lunch here in Hawaii, but this is great. We really appreciate it. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm, I'm very jealous of you. I'm in Detroit, which means I'm going to be getting um, not so much Hawaii weather in, in, in just a bit here in a month. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jerry D, what does the money back mean for the gold package? Um, you're, the, we never give money back on the courses because obviously you could take it um, and then ask for it. But what we're doing for this week, you can anything you buy today, you can come to me on Thursday or Friday and say, hey, Kyle, the course wasn't right for me. I want something else, but I don't want to pay for both. That's fine, guys. I'm not, I'm not here to, to swindle. If you need something else by the end of the week, I'm more than willing to switch it for you. Um, all you got to do is let me know. Uh, we got a bunch of people asking for my cell phone number. So here it is again. It's 586-480-6200. That's my personal cell phone number. I mean, the voicemail will say Kyle Bazzi. At the top right of the, the screen right now, though, that's my office number for Benzinga and MarketFi, okay? So you can reach us at any time, and uh, we'll be able to take care of you. All right. Um, let's see what else we got. All right. All right. Yep. Everybody else asking for the recording and the PowerPoints, we'll, we will get that to you. I am, uh, I am so glad uh, you guys all joined us tonight. We really, really appreciate it. Um, Serge. Fantastic as always, dude. I've always learned. I think you've over the past year, I can't count on on my hands and toes how many webinars we've done together, but I'm really excited. And hey, man, I'm excited to go to Chicago with you for the Traders Library event in September um, to, to see you do, uh, do this stuff live. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that as well. It's going to be a really fun event. Uh, you know, on a live stage, it's, 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 it's much different to do all of this in person as well. I'll make sure to bring a couple of those wine cards so we can, uh, we can get, uh, you know, Shoot a couple back, eh? <laughs> Sounds good. All right. 
Tim P, real quick, uh, what about maximum gain, maximum risk? Um, he goes over all that in the course. You can uh, figure all that out. Again, you can even adjust that depending on you know, what's right for you and, and ask Surge, hey, this is what I'm trying to do with this kind of account. Can you kind of guide me on where my risk allocation by percent should should lie? And, and he can help you out with that, um, uh, Jerry. Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't Jerry. That was uh, that was Tim. So, um, okay, folks, thanks a lot. I'm, I know we're over 16 minutes here, but we still have hundreds of people in here right now that are still asking questions. Um, I record all the questions, so we didn't get it to you. I'll make sure we get you an answer. Um, or give us a call right now. Shoot us an email. Shoot us a message. Uh, get us hold of us up any way you want. We'll be sure to take care of you. Um, I consider you guys family now. I consider you our community of traders, and I take care of family. So um, whatever I can do for you, let me know, okay? Serge, give me your uh, give me your send off tonight, buddy. Uh, thanks, guys. It's, it's it's great stuff, and I would uh, I would uh, probably say that in terms of the value you're getting here for for the money, um, you know, it's really nothing. Think of how much. How many? How much money do you spend on coffee or on, you know, beer or water a month? Uh, you know, it's really a joke. It's it's uh, it's a great value. And um, last words of wisdom for volatility in the market. I do think we're going to see more of it over the next couple of months. So if you're a buy and hold type of person, uh, you you probably wouldn't have listened to this. <laughs> but this, <laughs> just in case you are, uh, you know, brace yourself a little bit. It's going to get a little a little bumpier. Yeah, uh, I mean, I buy I buy a couple of Starbucks coffees a day at five bucks a piece, and that's well over three hundred dollars a month, um, or three hundred bucks a month right there. So, I mean, the, the value you'll get from this is just it's absolutely incredible. Um, I'm excited to talk to you all. Uh, I actually personally call a lot of our own customers uh, just to get on the phone and ask you guys how it's going. So, I'm excited to see how you guys trade. I'm looking forward to helping everybody trade. Serge is looking forward to helping everybody um, with uh, you know some more tools in your guys' tool belt there. Um, we will send out a recording with the PowerPoint tonight, but that's going to do it uh, for us here at Markify and, and Surge at the SETI Trader. Uh, be sure to um, check back in tomorrow at 4.30. Tomorrow we have Nick Shaheen talking about credit spreads. Um, so if you're into credit spreads and looking uh, for that kind of trading, we will be back on tomorrow. Surge, always a pleasure, buddy, and I will, uh, I'll see you back at the open. Thank you, guys. Take care. Have a, have a good rest of the day. All righty. Bye-bye.